Sunday morning, folks. We're chasing the dream. The water's pouring in. This is a swedge lock, whatever you want to call it. Drop lock. Guillotine. Guillotine. The water is pouring in. Look at it, folks. Coming through by Bevan the lock, they had like three or four foot waves. I was afraid we were going to take one over the bow. Look how pretty that is, folks. Ooh. All right, that's the hot spot, folks. <laughs> It ain't 32 boats, but it's quite a few. <laughs> they coming from everywhere, folks. They coming from everywhere. Trying to get their positions. <laughs> Watch this guy here. Come on, what you gonna do, bud? On the water boat show, folks. You can see every kind of boat made to man. We just left the sweat uh, game. We're heading out to... Uh, Lake Mullen. The current's too strong there right now. I don't know where he's going, brother. All right, boats are stacked up in the last turn before you hit Lake Mullen. They're fishing the birds. They had a few birds. Uh, six foot of water. Fishing the birds, folks. Fishing the birds. I see one, two, three, four boats fishing the birds. Double? Double trouble? A nice trout, nice trout. Woo, yeah, whip him in the boat, whip him in the boat. Got him a nice one, got him a nice one up front. Yes, sir. Got a little, tr little trout, a little white trout. Well, it's calm here today, folks. I think what happened on is the tide stopped. There's no water movement, and the birds all left. So if you go, Get an early start. Uh oh, almost went out the boat. <laughs> a green trout. They call him a bass. You call him a bass. Black bass, green trout. What do you call him? I call him green trout. Green trout. That's why I was raised up calling him green trout. Oh. The man up front got a nice one, folks. Oh, a little red. A little red. All right. I was hoping it was good. A little rat wonder. Oh, folks, look at that flounder. Oh, oh, kind of throwing back. Oh, my Lord, that hurts. That hurts. <laughs> Thought he had the bottom. All right, folks, there's he flounder. That's like a little doormat there, folks. Kind of I don't know, action folks. Action slowed down a little bit, but every now and then he's catching one. Ron got him another flounder, folks. On the bottom this time. Whoop, whoop. Throw him in the box, Ron. Everybody know your difference. All right, folks, the birds are on break, as you can see. Big Ron still reeling them in. I switched, he switched to the bottom. He's on the bottom, man. Whoa, whoa, look at the size of this trout, folks. Power Prong Jr. on the bottom. Big, big Ron's working on being fisher person of the day, guys. Two flounders, a whole bunch of reds, a whole bunch of trout. All right, folks, we're in the flounder hole here. I finally caught one. Of course, I got to turn it back. That's all right. I don't eat them anyway. All right, folks, we're heading back in. Coming up on the locks up here. Looks like it's a popular spot. A lot less boats than I thought they'd be there. But they're all going in. Yeah, they weren't fishing, they were going in. Yeah. I do 
do want to try this spot here. Yep, whatever you want to do, Paul. Whatever you want to do. Huh, and folks, that's the wall everybody talks about out of Bible Avenue. That is the wall. As you see, there's not many boats there. This bit real early. Only bit for about an hour, hour and a half, and it was over with. That's the guillotine gate. My man wants to try it. There you go, folks. Crab swimming with the water. You see them? You see them? All right. White crab. You know you're going to have a good day when they cover your motors off going out. Oof. I said, you know you're going to have a good day when they cover your motors off going out. Feel like we're on canal and rampart here. Fishing in 40, 45 feet of water, folks. 45 feet of water. Ta -da. It's a Sunday, folks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen boats right here. Most of them are going in. All the guide boys were heading in. They, they were better out by late born. I guess they're going back to the Wrigley's or the Oil Point. <laughs> Got a wild man driving here. I think he's got a 22-foot boat. Really, a 13-foot six. All the party barges. Ryan found the cleaning station, folks. Now when we go to Delacro, he can drive back over here and clean his fish when I drop them off. <laughs> oh, otters! Oh, otters come in here. Wow. See, they had eight of them. Clean it for the grandbabies, you know. Have you ever eaten the uh, the throats of the redfish? Uh -uh. Saltwater quail. <laughs> I don't eat redfish. You don't eat redfish at all? Mm -hmm. Even grilled redfish? Nope. I'll have to have you over at my house. I'll fix you some grilled redfish. You'll eat it. I think you like it. All right, folks, I need your opinion. Are we wasting a lot of meat here by doing it this way? Look at that belly. Look at all that meat in that belly. I don't know, folks. Some of the best meats in that belly. You want to get home? Do what? You want to get home? No, I'm not hurry. <laughs>